The company Lazarus are the makers of some really extreme four-wheel motorbikes, like the Wazuma V8M, which is a V8-powered trike-looking bike with car tyres and wheels, and the Lazarus LM847, which uses another V8 engine and four motorbike wheels in close proximity to each other. Both designs are very radical from traditional motorbikes we have come to know, but I think they've outdone themselves with their latest bike and have taken motorbike design to a whole new level of crazy. This is the Lazarus LMV 496, which is the world's first transforming flying electric motorbike. Now you might be asking, how is it a transforming bike? Well, this is where the crazy comes in. Lazarus have put a gen engine in the hub of each wheel and hydraulic actuators that tilt the four wheels out and up, forming a configuration something like a jet-powered hover bike. Also, two extra engines have been added to the middle of the bike. I assume to handle the extra weight and give greater stability. In its normal bike form, it is certified to ride on the road, just like the LMV 847 quad bike. But the main difference between the two bikes is, at a press of a button, the bike starts its transformation. Firstly, two center stands come down to support the weight of the bike. Then each wheel tilts up so the jet engines in the hubs are now facing down. And after waiting about 60 seconds for the jets to preheat, you can lift off. In the video, you can see the bike going through various prototype versions and testing each version for hovering capability, with the final and current version being tested with an actual person on the bike. During the testing, each corner of the bike was tethered from below and the rider was tethered from above for safety. Now I think the reason for the four tethers below the bike was because in early footage you can clearly see the bike is still unstable. And even in the finished version with the rider on the bike, when she throttled up the jet engines, the bike lifted off at the front but not the rear, so there was a possibility of flipping the bike. But Lazarus have hover tested the bike on tethers to a height of 1 meter or 3.3 feet, with a female rider at the helm. And if you stop to think about it, it's truly impressive how Lazarus have designed the bike's wheels. Each of the four wheels on the bike work like normal motorbike wheels, with brakes on the front and back and steering on the front. But that's where normal ends, as each wheel is built around a jet engine as the hub of the wheel that can lift the weight of both the bike and the rider. Now even though their previous motorbike designs were built around a V8 Maserati engine, this bike is electric and has a plastic mock-up of the Maserati engine on the bike, probably to maintain that look they have focused on on previous designs because a monster V8 Maserati engine would weigh so much that six jet engines would not be enough to lift its weight. Now in a press release from the company, they said the entire bike weighs 150 kilograms and each engine produces 55 kilograms of thrust for a total of about 330 kilograms of thrust. And in road bike mode, the bike will get about 100 kilometers or 62 miles on a single charge. Now I assume they used the female pilot in the demonstration to help lower the overall weight to be lifted by the jet engines. Because I doubt a full size motorbike with 4 wheels, batteries for the electric motor, 6 jet engines, fuel for the engines and a rider would not get very far on 6 jet engines. Now if you think about my other video on the Flyboard Air, that had 5 jet engines and was only able to carry enough fuel to carry one person for about 10 to 12 minutes. But that all being said, I'm not trying to put down this bike or the efforts to make a hover bike. I think it could be a great addition to all the other efforts being made to create flying vehicles, such as flying cars, jetpacks and jet hoverboards. With each design and attempt, we learn more about what can and can't be done, and each prototype brings us one step closer to a possible future. But when you consider they have been developing jetpacks and flying cars for the last 60 years, I just hope I live long enough to see it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.